Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy, DJ Tres Manos. And this is going to be a real quick uh, tutorial on how to do, um, how to reset your FX. And I'm going to explain what's going on. So basically, um, there's two things that happened this weekend. One is that <laughs> the filter was on. The noise was on. So check this out. Let me show you. Let me turn it on a little bit. Hear that? Hear the noise? So on my controller, everything looks like it's at 12 o'clock. So if you look over here, on my knobs right here, actually this base, everything had it all at 12. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And this one, I couldn't, I didn't even see it. So I'm checking. Usually I always do a, a sound check. I check all the knobs. I check everything. And I put everything back on reset. And um, when I start playing the music, I walk in front of the speakers, right, to, to do a, like a sound check. And I walked right in front of the speakers and I heard this. <laughs> and I was like, what the? So since I just started playing the music, I turned off the music right away. I, I um, shut off my software, reset my controller. Not reset it, but just shut it off and turned it back on. And I turned off my software back on, and I heard it again. So I said, that's strange. So I turned off my computer, and I disconnected the, um, the USB from my, con my controller to my computer. I, turned, I, I disconnected that and plugged it back up. And I turned everything back on, and I still heard it. So then, when I went to my um, on uh, this was uh, was uh, happening on on deck um, A or one, and I went to deck B, and I heard as I, I um, turned on the headsets, and I heard nothing it was quiet. So I said something is strange here. I thought it was my cables, and then I looked and I seen that there was the filter was on. <laughs> so I said, man, you hear that? And I had it just like that, like white noise. And usually when you hear that white noise, is, um, you had to, either you had the volumes really high up. So that's kind of, it threw me off. I was hearing that. And I was like, man. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your effects. And during this weekend, um, I was doing mixes. And I was doing my stems, um, my stems, the new, the new um, effects that I got in there, the Echo. And the echo acapella, the echo instrument on the echo acapella, I was doing that, and um, I kind of noticed something. Um, when I was playing the music, it didn't reset itself, and I didn't catch on to it until uh, a couple of songs later. I kind of caught it. Um, so what happened was like, let's say, that, let's say I play this song right here, right? I'm gonna play a song, and you see the way this blinking. When I turn off the, the um, let's say I'm gonna turn off the um, this one is um, the instruments. It should turn off completely black. And then when I turn this off, it goes black, right? And then I turn this, all of them should go black. I turn them back on. But then when I turn the effects on, it blinks. Everything blinks. So here goes my clue that it, the effects is on. It's blinking. I'm trying to figure out how to turn them off. Like when I press this, it turns all of them off, but I couldn't figure it, figure it out. So I, I, I still got to do some research on how to do that. So when I put the effects on, everything should turn off that I'm using. So in this case, it's going to be instrumental, so this should be turn, turned off. I'm going to press this button. But, um, you know, it didn't work. <laughs> so I'm going to show you I'm gonna show you what happened, and it was throwing me off when I was mixing. So I'm going to play this song right here. I'm going to do an um, a echo. I'm going to use my stems. I'm going to do an echo instrument, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. You hear it? This is the way it went to echo, and it went into instrumental. So now, let's say I'm finished with this right here, right? I stop it, and I get the next song ready. So you see this light blinking? It shouldn't be blinking. It should be like these other two right here. But since it's blinking, that means it's on. When I play the next song, I'm going to play Return of the Mac. Look at this light right here. It's still blinking. That means it's on. And I didn't even know that until I hit the, the song I played. I hit played, right? Um, it goes the beginning of it. So I'm thinking it's normal, you know? I'm, I'm like, okay, that's normal. It has an intro. All my songs has intro. But wait, that next cue mark when it comes up, this one right here, that's where he starts singing. And it's supposed to start singing. And I'm like, hold up, something's going on right here. Oh, you know, it's supposed to sing. 
And I'm like, oh man, something's going on. I said, oh, and I, I went back to my stems and I turned it off. And then I did, um, I did the, um, if I did this right here, the echo a cappella, the same thing. Watch this. Right? Let's say I'm done. Grab the next song. Um, maybe shouldn't do I want to use let's use this one here. We gotta play this one on and I play hit play. The song is playing, I'm like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> so then I gotta go fast forward like over here. And I'm like, oh my bad. And I had to turn this off. You know? Oh man, that was throwing me off this weekend. So I'm gonna show you guys how to reset it. Cause I said, you know what? As soon as I get home, I'm gonna fix this mess. So right here in the top, um, you're gonna go to settings and there's options right here. So you have all these right here. You're gonna click on options and on the search, type in reset. Just like that, just like that. So on the reset right here, you're gonna have a few things to do. Um, I thought it was I thought it was reset stems on the load, and um, I tested this out and that wasn't it. So I looked at the next one. I said, oh, okay, it's gonna be reset effects on the load. So you click on this, okay? And I, I have this one right here, reset keys on the load. I got that one on, and I got the reset pitch on the load. I got that on. Um, I haven't, I, did, I didn't do reset um, EQs on the load because most of the times when I'm playing music, I always have this, um, my bass a little higher, this one right here. I have a little bit more bass. I always put it like maybe at two o'clock. So I never really reset this right here. I should do reset on the load, but then I got to always adjust this all the time. So I just leave this alone. And there's some songs that when I got my headsets on, I go here, it's some songs that got more bass and I reduce it. You know, or I make notes right here. You know, I make notes up here. Oh, you guys can't see. Never mind. <laughs> um, um, so let's go back to the settings. Go to type in reset. And we're going to just make sure that it says reset effects on the load. Now, anytime you load up a new song, um, your effects is going to reset. So that's pretty cool. So let's play um, Big Papa again. And we're going to do an echo instrument. We're going to echo out and go to instrument. <laughs> All right, we got the echoes. Now, you see that it's still blinking? That means it's activated. It's supposed to be like this. It shouldn't be blinking. So now when I play, um, let's grab another song. Let's grab uh, this one right here. As soon as I play this one, keep your eye on this one right here. It's going to stop blinking. Boom, we just reset. That is sweet. So it went back to normal now. So now everything, the lyrics, echoes, whatever, just resets itself. So that's pretty cool. You know? Here it is right here. See, I made it a cappella. Oh, you look so sweet. All right, so I took off the acapella. Let's turn in uh, right there. And look at this um, button down here where my finger is at. It is going to stop blinking. There you go. That's so much sweet. Because what I was doing, I was going to cue, because I always use my cue to start a song off. You know, I always use my cue. And every time I leave this, I have to go back and turn off the stems. So it's throwing me off. <laughs> so I said, as soon as I get home, as soon as I get home, you're going to get it. Yeah, so I fixed it. Um, and everything's all good now. Um, hopefully this helpful tip helps out. So if you have virtual DJ and you do your effects, you can go in there and reset it. So, go, so when you load the next song, it'll be back to normal. You know what I mean? Um, so hopefully this helpful tip help out. I'm your boy, and I am out. Let me figure out how to turn this off. All right, I'm out. Peace.